Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Bacon Line, a railroad where we strive to have more locomotives than than crew. I see you over there. I see you. You're not on my screen. I hope you know that. Get, get out of here. Which I'm your host, are Ellis. You talking to Tyler. Otherwise known as the Admiral. With me, I have Tyler, who's trying to get in frame right now. Hello there. And also Weibold. I'm almost there! <laughs> Wait, where are you? I'm at the uh, yard lead at the freight house. Why didn't you just respawn? I hate you. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? I, I figured you were either going to stay put or respawn. Oh my god. Wait, so... No. No. No! No! I just walked for the sawmill! Oh, I mean, at least it was the sawmill. I thought you were, like, at the smelter or something. Oh, no, it wasn't that. Uh, that I would have respawned for. <laughs> uh, you were in Lionelville. All right, so what are we going to do today? I, I should buy... So, I still have $4,400 because I guess it didn't save our purchase of Burmashave. But Burmashave's so right where, here. So where is number three, I guess? Uh, Falls Yard, probably? Okay. I don't know. That's actually a good question. I was thinking about that. Well, I thought this one, because this is number two, because it doesn't say anything on it. Yeah, so number I'm three done. has to be elsewhere. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, so we should, yeah. I mean, we should probably buy some more hopper cars, buy some right? Freight cars. Yeah, yeah, some hoppers would be good. Because we only have Wetzels and Pretzels. Thank you. Um, uh, how many do we really road. need, though, in the long term? Because we will eventually need tankers and boxcars, and $4,400 is a lot of money to have. Well, we'll need more state cars before we need anything else, honestly, because we're going to need state will cars we? for for moving rails and, and be well, particularly moving rails before we need to uh, do really anything else. Don't we have, like, else. eight state cars? Okay, I guess. Yeah, yeah I just... but we need to move rails, we need to move the steel the not steel iron okay, plate okay. <laughs> well then okay. let's let's get two more ore cars and some uh, some steak flats then okay uh okay let's... can we nah, actually no we don't need another we have two kabis what um we have two where's the other one uh don't we have two i thought we did uh do we or no do we, we don't I was, I was we have hoglet do we have boostanic no i don't think we have boostanic does anyone have enough money oh. to get boostanic uh, uh, I remember what the control is. I G don't P? think I do. Uh, P, yeah. No, I do not. Oh, um, I have three dollars and a ham sandwich. Uh, okay, well, what should I name these hoppers, and what should I number these hoppers? Rhode Anti Island Mafia. Ans. Hold on. We're getting two more? Yeah. Name them Anti and Ans. Anti Ans. Yeah. Uh, and what should I put on them for the number, or should that be the number? Uh, I don't know that we've really numbered our equipment, have we? We have really, I don't think. This one's oh, we've, we've I guess done the, some I guess numbering. The steak flats have numbers, yeah. Um, Wetzels and pretzels, I don't think have numbers. Do they just say Wetzels and pretzels? Correct. Okay. All right. Name Auntie. Uh, order. Ka-ching, and then... Hello. Oh, there. And... Auntie Anne's pretzels. And Wetzels. Or Wetzels and pretzels. Why do they have to be in that order? Auntie Anne's and Wetzels and pretzels? Specifically Wetzels and pretzels. Because if you say pretzels and wetzels, it's it's wrong. That's ridiculous. Why why is that wrong? Do you not have wetzels pretzels out there? No. Oh. Well, then yeah, the whole joke. Uh, wetzels pretzels is a chain like Auntie Hands is. It's a ch it's a pretzel joint. Oh, okay. See, I thought it was just funny. Oh no, <laughs> wetzels pretzels is a brand name. That's why I was so stunned before the recording when you said pretzels and wetzels. I'm like, well, what see, are you talking about? I. Uh, I, I remember the, I don't know, that order is stuck in my head, because Pretzels is the normal-sounding one, and Wetzels is the other one. Well, that's fine, but I, I didn't realize you didn't have Wetzels Pretzels out there. That's bizarre. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I'm deprived. You are deprived. They're just, damn good. Just they like make, budget. like, a cinnamon, they make, like, cinnamon pretzel bits. Ugh. Yeah. Actually, well, speaking of which, I still have 
40, whatever. We'll save the money. Oh, uh, not 44. I, I still have uh, $3,500. We'll save the money yeah, for whatever we Yeah, the money as well. Do you still um, have free 9.85? Wait, no. I <laughs> uh, no, but that's a special order card coming soon, TM. Ooh, 39.85. Topical. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. It, it got ordered the day that news came out. Which is cool. Which is which is cool. I mean, the news itself is definitely cool. I can't wait to talk about that in the podcast. Yeah. I'm going to move this hand car. It'll be interesting. Oh, that's right. We've got the hand car in the way. Ooh! Thunk. Um. What are you doing now? I was gonna come up and get the stick flats, but we need to get the hand car out of the way. I already I moved the hand car. Did you? How'd yeah, you do I, that? I, I I picked it up. You can pick it up? Yeah. Really? You can derail tool. Rerail tool. You can do that if it's not derailed. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Is that a new feature? Nope. No, it's been I like guess that. It's not because the game hasn't updated in <laughs> a while, but you know. Okay. We're on the beta Clear. branch, and it's still the same old game. And by old, I mean not old at all, because I you mean, know. yeah, the last update was Christmas, which I guess now is five months ago, but still. There will be a big update coming soon. Hmm. Yes. TM. I shall. I shall proceed to laugh maniacally. Anyhow, have a car. And hitched. Poor heist the other day. <laughs> when Leighton what was happened? like, oh. so, when is the update coming? And he's just like, I don't have an answer for that. <laughs> oh, all of the children keep asking me that. Are you on the train, Ellis? No, I, I'm back here with Eureka. Okay. So okay, get going, get going. Get going. Quick, we'll leave him behind. You, I'm, that's fine. That was my plan. I'm staying with Eureka for the minute. <laughs> oh, well, fine. We're leaving then. Well, I'm following Jack you. and Hookers. Well, meh. Actually, we probably should leave Eureka here, right? For um, next time we buy something? Yeah, I guess. Because we, I mean, we I have kinda, another one. I kind of want to keep, I kind of want to keep Eureka and number three, whatever its name is, together. Okay, I guess I'll but try this But admittedly, the reasoning behind that is not operations. It's just, I think they look cool double-heading. <laughs> well, they're also better double heading. They're, they're a little bit more useful for running like road freights whereas if we want to have an engine over at the freight house we might as well stick Betsy over there. The Hon is Honestly what we ought to do is buy a second Betsy and put it over there. We don't need a second Betsy. Well I mean we now have the log camp which needs to be switched. We have Lionelville, we have Falls Yard and we have the freight yard. Yeah but here's here's my here's my counterpoint to that right? No. Uh, we're always going to have an engine up at the falls yard when something needs to be switched through there, generally. Uh, and either way, so th this is this is what I'm thinking, right? Uh, we can have number two doing odd jobs between the relatively flat industries, the wood industries. We can have yeah. number three based out of the falls yard, and then I guess we can just stick Betsy back here to just carry light cars out if we, you know, need to deliver Honestly, something somewhere. I think that's a good use for Betsy, which would mean you need to put, or we need to put, um, number two at, like, Lionelville, and then Betsy at, like, the Freight House. Yeah. I, I, I'm on my way taking number two to Lionelville, and I might do something with her over the course of this recording. Mm. I don't know what our plan is exactly. We have, we have iron ore up at the mine, pretty sure. Um, I think current plan that I was just assuming is we're going to stop here, pick up any um, stake flats we have and any ore cars we have, or just take inventory of what we've got in Lionelville, and then probably take the rest of this train to Falls Yard, so we can be running iron extras. Yeah, that would make sense. Ooh, we've got two flats of pipe. pipe. Oh, that's right, I wasn't here for the last recording session. That's right. Oh no, it's, um, it's not pipe, it's, um, whatchamacallit. It's, rail? No, it's the plates. Iron plates. That's what it is. Oh, interesting. Okay. Where does that go? Freight house? Yeah, for now it just goes to the freight house. What would we end up using it for? What, is it, what does it do? Uh, it goes to the ironworks. The ironworks. Okay. Yeah. Oh. oh. Should we build the iron? What does the ironworks require? Coal it requires coal and iron plates. Oh. Okay, so the next thing is still the coal mine. 
Yes. Oh, I forgot we're not okay. I'm. The trouble is I've been watching a couple or I've been moderating a couple of Mark streams, so I have it a little bit confused in my mind as to which save is which. Yeah, I, I forgot we haven't gotten to the coal mine. That's is that what we maybe want to work on today is getting up to the coal mine rather than running more ops. I mean, we could have somebody working on the coal mine and the other two of us run ops. Okay. I don't I'll know. I'll get to work on coal mine if we want. Okay. Uh have okay. you built the coal mine before? I have not. Uh, First time for I, everything. Okay. That's I've built fun. it several times, so that's fun. <laughs> I was I was gonna say that it should be you, Weibold, not only because you haven't done it before, I suppose because you haven't done it before, but because we subjected Tyler with doing it like on the on the MDIV save. Uh, so you know, he deserves a reprieve. I'll, I'll build I'll build to the coal mine. And I'll let you two figure out op stuff because I had forgotten that I wasn't here for the last session and so ops like everything is in a different place than I thought it was. So I really don't know what's going on with ops. Where where are those? Oh, there are the the cars of Vuts. I guess the cars of plates. Because I was just gonna grab those and run them to uh, to think. Wait, where's Betsy? Is Betsy here? Uh, I thought it was at Lionelville. Yeah, it's. In fact, I'm sure uh, it is. I saw it earlier. Is it in one of these six engine sheds? Oh no, it's over here. No, okay. it's over. It's over with the log bunks, I think, because we were running uh, log sawmill extras with it a couple weeks ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, and and that would mean number two has got to be. Yes, yes, I yes, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> number two is probably at Falls, or no, number three is at Falls Yard. Yeah, no, I was saying number two could live here or should live here in Lionelville, in one right. of these six hundred engine sheds, and <laughs> Betsy, I will take these cars back to. You know, the freight house. Freight oh, house. that's perfect. You'll run. You'll run a little itty bitty freight extra. Yeah. I just need the to figure out where freight to put train. this. Uh, need to figure out where to put this Eureka. Which which engine house? Let me uh, let me sneak forward. Just get out of your way. I don't. I'm not sure if I want to put it in this one. Oh, whatever. I guess I'll put it in this one. <laughs> there are a lot of them. There Take there are an awful lot of them. Good God. <laughs> Opening up into this valley and just seeing the, the maze of track that we have going everywhere. Alright, first bad. order of business. Where is the coal mine? Uh, it's where it says coal mine. Yes. Yeah. You might want to go build from Falls Yard. You'll see a uh, stub for that. Okay. Not, it's not up. on the, uh, the tail end of the Y. It's You'll see the line that goes and snakes off to the iron mine. You want to build. There should be a switch there. Uh, well, we'll we'll see. <laughs> I wanna I wanna go my own way. You can go your own and way. I have, yet, I have yet to think of what that way is because I haven't surveyed anything yet. So that's what we're it's doing the now. Fleetwood Mac way. Yeah. Well, here's my recommendation. Is Fleetwood Mac that sings that? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yes. Huh. All right more you know. How did, who did you think sang it? Not Fleetwood Mac. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely the Mac Eagles. Well, I think... Yeah, not Eagles either. Just... I think of Fleetwood Mac and I think of, like, the chain. Tyler, why? What? Why are Why are you here? I thought you were driving that other train. What are you doing? Alright, fine. You park this thing. Sure, <laughs> do you, sure. Do you have a stowaway? <laughs> yeah, I, I just... I, I got off my locomotive I'll so I could go back and throw the switch, and suddenly it's coming towards me at a high rate of speed. Oh. And it's because oh, Tyler just hijacked it. So, question for you, and this isn't meant to call you out specifically, it's just because it's a thing that's said a lot, and it, it often sort of makes uh -oh. me wonder. Is high rate of speed a correct way to say something? Again, not, not meant to pick on you, because tons of people say this. I've said it before, and it's like, I've caught myself and it's like, I don't think that's right. I mean, I... Because speed is a rate. Yeah. So is a high rate of speed redundant? Or saying a high rate of speed redundant? Mm, I wouldn't think so, because it... You wouldn't say, like... 
it's describing what the high rate is of, right? Because yeah. I guess, but speed, but speed does that, you know. At high speed, already says everything that you need to know. I, I don't. I'm not denying that. It's, it's an extra okay. flowery way of saying it. But okay. yeah. I like this line. Ah! I fell off a cliff. <laughs> All I'm saying is, Falls Yard is beautiful, and the line up to the Iron Mine is great. Um, but that's not how we do things on the bacon line. Oh, God damn it! Why did oh, we like? Why we'll do this? <laughs> <laughs> God. Madness. Anarchy. I don't know what it means, but I love it. You know. You know what you should Fuck. be doing. You know what you should be building. What's that? A What's line that, that goes in the river. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, that's possible. Yeah. We uh, we here at the bacon line. We don't do things the same way because that's boring. Oh god, we're gonna have, we're gonna we're gonna have an impassable line to the coal mine. Oh no, it'll be passable, barely passable, but it will I be passable. I don't believe you. <laughs> you don't believe me? No. Watch and learn. Tyler, why did I just watch oh the god. locomotive pull into the shed for a second time? God, I'm not even to the. Uh, end of the line. because something is very wrong. With this shed. What's what is wrong and with I'm... this shed? Come come walk in here, please. Is it the dirt? I, I think it's uh it wants to eat the dirt. Okay, well this sounds like is it a gonna problem. walk itself so back do, onto uh, the track. So oh, Wooten it engines. is. Okay. Wait, what? What the hell? So do Wooten engines, dirt burners. Dirt burners. Okay. Uh, I do not like that shed. It's voodoo magic. Goodbye. Well, I was gonna park do it. We have... up. Well, is the shed gone now? <laughs> no, no, the shed's still there. I just I'm never gonna touch that with the rest of my life. Do we have a magic shed? Yeah, it's like magic buffers. It's, uh, it derails the engine and re-rails it. I don't like oh, this. That's interesting. I don't like this. Goodbye. So, here's a here's a topical question for Mr. Developer. And I know the public answer to this, but let's discuss it. Uh-oh. Oh, God. The spline update. Are we oh. going to have to relay our railroads from scratch? I think the public There's... answer to this has been, we really hope not. <laughs> yeah, it is it really, we hope not. It has been. But what is, what is the non-public answer? In my mind, looking at it with my very, very limited knowledge of code and computer and games and things, I look at it and go, oh yeah, there's no way we're going to be able to keep our saves. We're going to have to relay everything. It's a thing of, Kume is working on, he's working on a conversion script. And we've done this in the past, where it has converted over previous okay. versions of stuff. Like, there is previous renditions of save files. Like, we had a whole entire change on that. And he did rewrite it so that it did work. And this was this is not, like, when it was public. This is a long, long time ago. This was, like, last summer. I can still remember. <laughs> um, so, maybe... Maybe you will have to, maybe you won't. No, no. Maybe we will have to. Yeah. <laughs> maybe we will. No, no. Maybe, maybe everyone but you... Maybe I will get to you... lay a good line to the coal mine. Yeah, maybe everyone here. but you will have to. Maybe you will be barred <laughs> from doing that. Hey, my save is sane. But this is, this is not a sane save. Because sanity is no fun. Jesus Christ. You see, this, that's what Ella should tell me before every single royale. <laughs> no, because I feel bad for you. I know maybe that's my mistake, but... I feel like that's... Maybe your mistake. I feel like that's more my fault, though. Why? why? <laughs> because I'm not there. I mean, yeah. But, you know, you're a busy man. You. Yeah. Well, you, you're... Well... Less Good. busy now. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you say that. I'm, I'm starting a full-time job at the end of the month. Yeah. Yay. That's, that's why I was going to say something like, you don't have a job, but you do have a job, or at least you will shortly, you lazy I bum. do have a job. Well, yeah. And you're going to be bugged to death by Layton, so uh, that's a full-time job in and of itself. <laughs> but it's, oh, gonna, we still, we see we still have a... Uh, sorry. They're fun. We were talking about exhibition, ex the exhibition match earlier, which has not been revealed to the public yet. And we'll talk about that once the current season of Royale ends. 
but we still right. have a standing exhibition match that's supposed to happen between the two of you in Locomotive oh, God. Hmm. Uh I forgot about that. And the it's loser has to be the technical advisor on the next season. Just kidding. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> Let's make some steaks. Mmm, <laughs> steak. Yeah. This is the bacon line. You mean pork chops. Mmm, pork chops. I'm not picky, I don't discriminate. <laughs> discriminate. Mm. Probably peeing on like the kitchen table or something. I thought your dog's going to meet your neighbor. On the cat, yeah, no, I don't think this <laughs> happened yet. So Although... for the coal mine. What? For the coal mine. Yeah. These, uh, these. Tr this pile of coal that's on the ground. I just build track over that, yes. What? Wait, what? In front of the orbit, well, in front of the coal bin, I guess. Oh, There's... oh, yeah, 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 yeah. you build okay. over that. Okay. <laughs> For a second there, I was thinking, like, wait, are you all the way down at the smelter? Yeah, I was gonna say, no. Pile are of you coal are you ground. trying to extend the crazy route? No. Yeah, you can only that get to the coal mine <laughs> via the cancer Ooh. pass. Ooh. No, that was not a suggestion. Please don't. Was it not? I heard a suggestion. No. Oh my god, last I episode. heard a Geneva Convention or crime. Last episode, I forgot. Don't that you mean or crime? <sighs> can I can I throw wild off of a bridge? Uh, last episode, we did have a moment where I was like, okay, we'll drive up out of the smelter this way instead of that way. And I forgot that that way, or you know, this way was to the terrible cancer pass. And Tyler had to stop me like, no, 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 we can't go that way. There's a reason why we can't go that way. And then it finally clicked to me. It's like, oh my God, that's right. We can't go that way because it's terrible. <laughs> what do you mean? It's impassable. <laughs> or, it's oh, not sorry, impassable. We passed impassable. it several times. <laughs> Last time we passed it, it's we had impassable. to demolish some of it. <laughs> That's not the case. Last time we passed it, I died, remember? <laughs> the train made it on its own just fine. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, that was the last crossing of that pass was the runaway where I crashed and the train ran away down the thing and somehow made it. Good lord. Mm. Alright. Alright. Right, then. Dingo. Okay, here's my issue. I should have left Eureka here. Because I should have left Eureka here and hitched a ride with you guys. Because now I'm back here with Betsy and two empty cars. And I want to leave Betsy here, but what am I supposed to do with these cars? Oh, wait, I have a hand car. Which really should be anywhere but there. I mean, if you respawn... Uh, that's valid. I don't really know what to do in this case. I guess I'll just take Betsy back to the thing and leave the handcart here. If you, I'd, I'd leave Betsy there and take the handcart, because then if you respawn and need to really get somewhere, you can either A, take Betsy, or B, buy another handcar. Eh, fair enough. Which, we need handcars. I mean, we've got two handcars. Yeah, but we should have handcars, like, everywhere. Like, we should have so many handcars that they're in the way. Like, we're cluttered with hand cars. That's the ideal hand car situation in my mind. You may not like it, but this is what the ideal hand car situation looks like. This is what this is what the ideal hand car situation looks like. <laughs> well, what you said about how you haven't, uh, I mean, I, I assume you don't feel that guilty, uh, but you said about not having been on Local Royale lately, we have a whole new, like, sheet and setup and everything, and there's a new Don't one. Don't rewrote your points. job. Uh, what? We rewrote your job. <laughs> yeah, hey, I man. mean, uh, the technical advisor gets to do more color commentary than before. Uh, there's like spaces carved out for it, and very nice. There's much less tedium. This is good. And there's like 
zero yelling over each other because everyone's doing style points at the same time. Which was hey, massive. that's good. Yeah, that was a massive. Build the same number of brain cells lost. Yeah. Well. Maybe. I, I well. Maybe. Tyler, I can't help you with that. <laughs> I did my best. Okay. I did everything in my power. The only thing, the only thing more I can do is uh, get on my knees and beg Weibel to come back. Uh, <laughs> uh, how do I? Oh, right. Um, that button. Bloody Weibel! Bloody Weibel! Bloody Weibel! Please, oh please, oh please, be my prisoner. <laughs> Uh, I've reached the falls. I've been I've been really enjoying the the rule changes and the new oh. season and oh. the uh, uh, the everything. Thing. Okay, I found I found uh, number three. Okay, that's oh. good. I oh, almost ran number into three. number three. I found a thing. Okay, you are coming with me. I do think it would kind of be legitimately hilarious to stake the the next season of Technical Advisoring on on an exhibition match, but that would be funny. Well, you guys I are found game. A thing. Uh -oh, I'm doing this thing now. Well, I mean, I would be game. I'll, I'll tell you later. Um, it's not important right now. Don't worry, your pretty little mind. Oh, okay. I thought like you found something <laughs> weird out there, and I was like. Oh, I did, fine. but it's... I did, but Tyler will probably recognize it later, but... Uh, oh, great. Now I'm really concerned. Yeah, well, you should be. Um, you, I thought you said, don't worry! I <laughs> yeah, I found a flat car upside down in a tree. <laughs> oh, that's for that one. <laughs> you found Sasquatch! Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I found Sasquatch. Or we need an engine name. The next engine needs to be named Sasquatch. Okay, here's the story that you that petition. That, uh, Desert Island Valley. Story. Yeah. Yes. So, and I should have said Bigfoot because we have our yeah. community map that we do for the the Friday uh, community play dates every once in a while when it gets voted upon to do Rarons Online. Right. And <laughs> the. The railroad is the Mountain Desert Island Valley Railroad, and we decided very early on that we were going to name all of our locomotives after cryptids. Uh, the reason is because Gloria and I were looking at a cat named Bigfoot. Uh, of course, we didn't end up getting the cat named Bigfoot. We ended up getting uh, Clyde, who is now Venkman. But we named this first locomotive Bigfoot, sort of in honor of, of the cat that we were looking at. And then it became, okay, we're going to name all of our locomotives after cryptids. Right. Uh, now, what happened was uh, something glitched and the locomotive just yeeted into the sky. Twice, actually. The right. first time we found it. The second time we could not find it. Okay. And uh, I ended up going on like the map viewer online and looking for it to see where it landed. And it was gone. So, what do you mean it was gone? I mean, it was gone. It didn't exist anymore. I went on the yeah. online map viewer, and it shows you where all your engines are, and, and right. Bigfoot was nowhere to be found. So, we ended up buying a second locomotive, or a, 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 a third locomotive, a second Eureka, naming it Sasquatch, uh, okay. also numbering it 2, and pretending that Bigfoot never existed. Yes. <laughs> Uh, okay. And that the locomotive is called Sasquatch the whole time. Because, you know, it's close enough, right? Right. So, when I said you found Sasquatch out there, I meant to say you found Bigfoot out there, meaning that the locomotive landed in this map. Oh, I see. I do like that headcanon. I think we need to name our next engine Bigfoot now. Well, if, if, it's, if, it's, not a, uh, if it's not a Eureka, which we already have two of those, um... Well. Well, that makes it even better. We'll get a class 70 and we'll call it Bigfoot. Yeah, well, I was going to say that that's a, that might be a little bit odd, but then again. Then you again... Know, it, I, hey, it went between saves! Of course it <laughs> changed into a class 70. That's just logical. Yeah, it got Duh. buff. It got buff on the way. It got buff. It got buff! 
I thought you were gonna say it got buffed, as in you know, like it uh, it got stronger. It, it got buffed, no, as in like it got swole. Yeah, it hit the gym. <laughs> Why are we like this? Literally, it, it went hit, into the sky. It hit the gym it hit the skybox for fuck's sake. Yeah, no, no, it went out of the skybox into space, hit, collided with Planet Fitness, and then came back down. <laughs> Planet Fitness. Oh my god. Uh, a direct collision with- SIR, IT'S BEEN A DIRECT COLLISION WITH PLANET FITNESS! My god. <laughs> it's like- it's like... The subreddit birds with arms. Yes! Oh my god. Yes! I know this! I know the subreddit! I know the gifs you're talking about, and I love it! Oh my god. Oh my uh, god. If you don't know what birds with arms is, look up birds with arms, you will be happy. Even if you don't go on reddit because it's a disgusting cesspool. Which it is. Um, okay. Look up birds with arms. It is. I mean, no more than any other social media. It's just anti-social media. As I said, it's a disgusting <laughs> cesspool. <laughs> I resemble that disgusting cesspool. Thank you very much. I mean, well, I, I don't think you resemble Reddit. Eh, I spend way too much of my time on it. I mean, that's fair, but I don't think that's a resemblance. Oh, let me go get my anonymous mask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need a fedora, a fedora I have that with, too. Uh, ra well, with rainbow pins and stuff on it. You need, like, the milady, you know, that look. You also need to be about 100 pounds heavier. Uh, I once right. I once did the ho a Halloween costume, which was just myself, the anonymous mask, and a fedora, and I just was average internet user. No, <laughs> the handcar cannot push two stake flats up this hill. Are you sure? Yes. It sounds like an experiment. I just, I just hit it. I just hit it. It sounds like you need another. And now I'm rolling car. back down. I'm, I'm gonna have to double the hill, if I even can. With do a that. hand car. With a hand car, yeah. Double. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna be possible. Double. Never a dull day on the bacon line. This is the dumbest no. thing that I've done in a while. Oh, you have no idea what I'm doing. I said that I have done. Oh well, that's fair. <laughs> I'm afraid of what you're doing. <laughs> I have taken an, or an organic approach to track laying. Oh, God. I don't like that. Organic Whatever. is good. Hasn't school taught you anything? You're supposed to be good at school. Uh, it's taught me that I should be very afraid organic. of what the, uh, what the fuck you're doing. Really? They Organ called that out specifically? I'm honored. <laughs> yes, organic yes, railroading. Yes, specifically... In my Organic history textbook. scheduled railroading. It's going to be the next big thing. Yeah, after after the STP gets done with PSR. Yeah. Organic <sighs> scheduled railroading. I was so pleased. The second day of the STB hearings, um, one of the directors was like, we keep hearing about STB because all of the shippers had gone beforehand, and they've, of course, heard PSR from all these tabloids and such. They don't really know what it means. Um... So the, like, chair of the STB, or the guy that was leading the hearings, asked for some clarity from whoever was going next on what PSR actually means. <laughs> and the guy that was going next was a union rep for, I think, the Teamsters. Oh, and, boy. like, laid out exactly, not just, you know, the, you know, you look up on Google, it's like, precision scheduled railroading is blah, 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 blah. He laid out exactly, you know, PSR is sort of this BS, you know, it it claims to be hyper-efficiency, but really it's just destroying, uh, you know, it's minimizing expense, i.e. employees, yeah. infrastructure, anything else that you can cut in the name of short-term profits. Mm-hmm. And said that in no uncertain terms. And from that point on, there was no question as to what PSR meant. And that was everybody just kind of went, yeah, yeah, what he said, what he said. And it was great. <laughs> okay, I am. I cannot even double the hill. I cannot push a single flat car up the hill with the hand car. So. You need more hand cars. That was, no. Uh, that, yes. <laughs> give me a pocket hand car. Pocket sand. Give me pocket a, hand. Give me a goddamn pocket horse. Missile. You see, you say that, and then the ventilated uh, refrigerator car, whatever the heck, we're, that the Tiffany's, the no, not that, but the the South Pacific Coast one. Oh, uh, the Tiffany's. There's a really famous photo of one of those with, 
a guy on the top and a horse that's hitched up to it. <laughs> okay. So it's just like, oh, oh yeah. driving it like a stagecoach. I thought you meant just yeah. a horse with a rider on the horse and both of them are standing on top of this car. No, no. <laughs> Like Which it is literally his stuff to be very like wagon. <laughs> that, that's that's what I want to see. You see, there's also the photo of the the Panzerkampf wagon uh, free. The Panzerkampf wagon. With, yeah, there's with a, a, a Panzer on it with free. A man on the horse? In the it's European feeder. I think it's an Allied. There's an the They basically <laughs> just they took one without the uh, turret on it and used it as a switcher. Right. <laughs> Man, <laughs> I'm liking this track. Oh no, I, I'm liking this. I'm running to the iron mine right now, and I'm kind of tempted to go look over the pass. Um, doing. if you do, you'll realize what I mean by organic track. Oh god. I mean, I like that. I kind of like the sound of that now that I'm thinking about it because it probably means not a big trestle bridge over a giant gap. Yeah, that's true. Um, you know what else it means not having? Uh oh. What? <laughs> Groundwork. Oh no. Oh no, oh, wait no. a minute. <laughs> oh. It, it looks like authentic I'm looking up this and it looks like authentic CNS track. It will be passable. Asterisk. Okay, but like important question. Uh does this d does this include like the gradients? Uh, no. Cause it's you say authentic CNX track, and then I point you to Alpine Pass. Yeah. Because, you know, when you're building track, you don't know what gradient you're building it at, so... Well, I'm doing, I'm doing that for the gradients. You'll see what I mean in a bit, though. Um... <laughs> By the way, those I have were found... two flat cars of rail, so I don't know what... I don't know, uh... Of rail? Not yeah. of, uh... Whatever I... else? No, I thought they were... I thought they were plates. I think they were rails. I don't know. Uh, mm. either way, we'll... They looked, they looked like pipes and or rails when they came in. They didn't much look like plate. In fairness, the coal mine does need rail. Yeah, that's, that's what I meant. Now I feel bad for chucking them in the thing. Oh, yeah, well... I, I manually, I carried two stake flats over the hill. Like, my person. My high oh, with the With the re-rail tool? Yeah. <laughs> I, you Central pacific two flat cars over yeah. the mountain to the yeah. other side. So, Weibold, how does it feel to becoming one of the new character models for Ferrara's? <laughs> I think my comments in the Discord summed it up best. I tabbed over to the uh, one of the discussions where that was a thing and saw it and uh -oh. went, Jesus Christ, I literally jump-scared myself, which was hilarious. Or I thought it was pretty funny after the fact. <laughs> You're not that ugly. But, I don't know, man. You ain't seen the things I've seen. But I'm, I'm actually really excited. I think it's going to be bizarre but also really cool to play as myself that might be you know super egotistical but at the same time i think it's neat <laughs> i'm just gonna play as you huh you're just gonna replace the like the pain herald oh i thought we were doing multiple no no we oh, well, no, we cause... are yes but n nobody's going to choose anything but you oh i see i'll, I'll still It'll be the pain cult. herald unless yeah unless uh Unless we all just want to torture Weibold by when he logs on, we're just all him. Yes. <laughs> one of us. One of us. Come here, brother. Oh, yeah. Why are you Macho Man Randy Savage? <laughs> Come here, brother. <laughs> Gotta run to the iron mine. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's the third player model. <laughs> yeah. we, need we need an engine called Slim Jim. Slim Jim. <laughs> That's what you class Slim Jim, brother! Oh, Slim Jim! The Class 70 is definitely Slim Jim. I like that. Because it is decidedly not very slim. 
I mean, it's kind of kind of long and thin. Ah! That's okay. a cliff. It's kind of long and thin comparatively. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Ooh. 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 Come on. Come on. Bethesda. Like... Bethesda. 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 I like how in this Frame game hand cars are just a source of unlimited power. Are you seriously switching with the hand car? <laughs> that works. Yeah, it does. Really? You don't even have to be on it. <laughs> right. Sure. <laughs> you can set the operated hand car. You can set the throttle to 100 and just step off of it, and it'll go. <laughs> That's one of our favorite things in the MDIV. We have all our hand cars just running in a circle at the uh, at the sawmill. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you have a hand car go round? Yeah. Yes. Did I just crash the game by exiting the hand car? Yeah, I did. 